Hey, Neil here from Spearfishing Australia. Just showing you how to use the slippy. So I've got Mitch here from Fergo's Tackle World. We're just going to get him into this wetsuit. But first of all, I've got to add a little bit of the magic lube. So this is the concentrated powder. About two teaspoons. Did look about two teaspoons there, Mitch? Three guys. Right. Pop on and shake away. So, as you've seen, we're here to try the slippy. We've got a couple of slippy bottles here from Fergo's Tackle World, <laughs> Mitch and Cody. So, we're going to show a couple of different techniques. So, first of all, Mitch has just got a, a one litre bottle of water added with a couple of teaspoons of slippy. And he's going to add that to the inside of the wetsuit. So as I was mentioned before, you get about 16 litres of the stuff and we're using a litre here to lube the suit. And this is probably the most, uh, I guess, wasteful way of, of lubing your suit, but most people use this technique. So where you go, Mitch. So what he does, he pours this into his pants and use plenty. You want to prolong the life of your wetsuit. So the more of the stuff you use and the easier it is to get into the wetsuit, the better. I'm just going to hold on to the legs once he gets the last stuff in and he's just going to shake it all around. And so as to not waste any, we will then pour the remaining into the wetsuit jacket. And whilst he's doing that, I'll be here with Cody and what Cody's going to do is use the spray bottle. So this is what I use, I'm a little bit more frugal with the lube. Um, so I just spray the, the complete inside of the suit. This one's actually lost its nozzle so it doesn't spray as well, but if you go away and start to spray the, the bottom pants there, Cody, I'll hold on to your jacket. That actually is so slippery. It is. <laughs> That's insanely slippery. So we see Mitch has got a suit on already. You can see that you can actually just move this around quite easily if you're finding that the suit isn't square and comfortable. You can just move it around and position the suit to its most comfortable area. Now we're just getting Cody into his. These nebulas actually have a smoothie outer as well and I do recommend with this type of suit that you actually lube the outside to get out of it. If it's dry like it is now, recommended to actually lube it. Even if you put a bit on the shoulders and smear it around just to prolong the life of the outer part of the suit. Because if they grab hold of each other as you're pulling it off you are likely to tear it. So it's a very simple thing to do folks is to, to lubricate your suit properly. But this is going to prolong the life of the suit. It's going to actually condition the inside of the open cell as well, so it really is recommended to actually lubricate your, your wetsuit properly and get into it. Let's go and dive, boys, and see if we can get a couple of crates. Yes, sir. Yeah.